be a question which might be a quadratic equation. So if that is the case, suppose you've got x squared minus 5x plus 6. This is a classic. Let's factorize first. If that doesn't work, then we can always use the quadratic formula. So because it's an x squared term only and no coefficient before the x squared, we just need x and x. So what two numbers multiply to get positive 6 and they sum to get negative 5? Well, it's negative 2 and negative 3. So x must equal positive 2 or x must equal positive 3. Now let's double check that using the calculator again really quickly. So here we've got, if you go back to the home screen, we've got the equation function. So we click on equation and right now we are solving a polynomial. All it means is we've got quadratics, cubics, quartics, but let's not worry about any of those. So we'll click on the quadratic and our x squared. So what number is before the x squared? It's 1. What's before the x? It's negative 5. And what is the constant? Just the number itself. It's positive 6. We plug those in and then it gives us the x. One of the solutions is 3. The other solution is 2, which is what we had here. Let's move on to a third example.